Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi Franco Revolution. So today I will be diving into Chronomatic and I will be making a simple tutorial for you guys that you can follow and to, you will be able to configure rules on this plugin. So let us get started. And many of you guys who tried Chronomatic so far are frightened by the vast amount of settings that this plugin offer, offers but let me go into configuring some basic rules that you will be able to use to import content from almost any site so let me dive into an example with the watch.com i will be using the watch so i will be pasting the url of the website here in the scraper start seed url settings field now let's go ahead and click settings here we will be able to modify how the plugin will work so first of all we need to scroll down and until we find the do not scrape seed url checkbox so this is important to be checked if you don't want to scrape this website only links that you find on this website so if you don't want to scrape content from this url only you want to scrape to crawl links that are found in on this url and to scrape content that are listed on each url then you need to check the do not scrape seed url checkbox so in our case we check this also the seed page crawling type needs to be uh, modified if you check this checkbox so in this case let us go ahead and use auto detect so this is a new feature that i recently added to the plugin and you can out use auto detection for links and like this you will be able to get links from the uh, plugin only uh, that it uh, auto detects so for this if you leave this in the settings field auto detect the plugin will return all links that it finds in the source page however we can restrict the links that it returns by adding a pattern so for example we can copy this part of the url that repeats on each and every article and paste it here in the seed page crawling query type so here you can use auto detect to automatically detect links from the page and here you can use a pattern so this pattern should be repeated on all links so like this the plugin will import all links which start with this uh, string we can also remove the year and like this we will get all all links from the page that start with this part okay also here in the content query type this is important we can use auto detect and the plugin will auto detect the content for us so this is a basic setup that you can use you should replace only the scra uh, scraper start seed url with a new website and also don't forget to replace the seed page crawling query string with the string which uh, should be starting the url that the plugin will scrape and also don't forget to leave the seed page crawling query type on auto detect and check the do not scra uh, scrape seed url checkbox now we can go ahead and run importing but before let's check our site it is empty and now we can run importing so importing is running one uh, important thing to know is that the plugin is logging what it is doing so now let's refresh our site and here it is the cyberpunk post is imported let's also check it and its content is also imported now let us uh, go ahead and uh, check the logs that i was talking about for this go to main settings of the plugin and search for 
enable logging for rules and enable detailed logging for rules. So if you are creating new rules, I recommend that you enable the detailed logging for rules feature of the plugin. So be sure to have both of these checkboxes checked. And if you have these checkboxes checked, you can go to activity and logging and after running the rules, you will see these kind of logs in the plugin. So you will be able to see what it does. So now processing the page that we uh, crawled, it skipped the seed page because we checked the do not, uh, do not scrape seed URL. Now it will go ahead and crawl this page. It will remove URLs that did not match our pattern that we set. So it is removing this, all these sites and after we scroll down. So it removed quite a lot of uh, sites and URLs and it found only these URLs that match our request and it also scraped the first one now processing this url url scraped and rule id zero done okay so keep in mind you will be able to use the activity and logging feature and also you will be able to uh, scrape content like this okay now let me go ahead and show you an alternative so if you don't want to use this method you can also use rss feed so the watch has this example rss feed i can add the feed url here and it is important you now click settings and also leave the do not scrape seed url checked and here we can select rss feed instead of auto detect so now let's select rss feed save settings let's delete the post that was imported and let's run importing again okay so now nothing was imported and let's check the logs logs will tell us why so if we check the logs we will see that uh, crawling seed page for links with RSS and the RSS looks also for good deals. So we forgot to remove our pattern. So while selecting the RSS feed, we also should remove the seed page crawling query type because it will f search for this pattern inside the RSS feed. And this particular RSS feed, if you check here, I search for the pattern that I used and it does not contain this pattern. So let's remove this pattern. You can also use other patterns that match this RSS feed, but now let's remove it and let's run importing again. So now the plugin will get links from the RSS feed and it will scrape them. So let's refresh the site and here it is. A link is scraped from the RSS feed of the watch. Okay, now let's go ahead and use some advanced uh, selection of the content. So in case we wish to use the watch as a content source and we don't want to use the auto detection feature or we don't want to use the RSS feed feature, we can simply add the URL of the starting uh, URL which we wish to scrape and let's click settings be sure also to have the do not uh, scrape start URL checked and we can use the visual selector to select the links that we wish to scrape so for example let's select this example link and the plugin will select that uh, post and it will scrape it. Also we can select these links to get a serial scraping. So if we select links from a listing like this, the plugin will go and check and scrape all articles that match this listing. So we can uh, check this and click on it. 
Now we can leave auto detect feature for content or here we also have the visual selector feature which will be able to scrape content for us. So in this case it failed. However, uh, we can go back and once again go for visual selector and select for example this link and it will uh, work better now so if we go with visual selector we will be able to scrape this article so now the article is opened and let's select the content so hover your mouse over the content until all the content that you wish to get is highlighted with red and click so now the plugin automatically filled the query string and we can go ahead and save settings so let's delete the old post that we imported and let's run importing again okay now if we refresh our site we will see that the article is imported and if we check its content it has the correct content imported also with this embed in uh, added into the content so yeah, keep in mind guys, these are the simple ways to configure the Chronomatic RSS, uh, Chronomatic multi-page scraper. If you want to get some simple uh, rules to scrape websites using RSS feeds, using direct scraping methods like auto detect or visual selector. So yeah, this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this. A new video and you learned something new from this on how to configure Chronomatic. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Bye bye.